Last week, I was in Hollywood on the set of the show watching Judith and her co-star, Tony Danza, rehearse. And they were having a good time, too. Look. <laughs> Joanne's the one responsible for this. She's accusing, she's accusing us of doing... She's accusing of... <laughs> I can do it. She's accusing us of doing things that we never done. Or even thought about. <laughs> Is that extra ten, Jerry? <laughs> Fred! Oh. When they took a break, I had a chance to talk with Judith White. You're you love Boston. I do love yeah. Boston, yes. We met My there. My husband used to work in Boston. He used to work at COZ. Did he? Yes, he did. And then Robert was was a part of One Life to Live. He he was Stephen. He you Steve ran off Piermont. with him, right? That's right. I did. I ran off with him on the show, and I ran off with him in real life. Yeah. Oh, and the marriage is good. Things are good for you. Combining two actors and, and marriage and the schedule you keep, is it difficult? Yeah, sure. How do you do it? You work at it all the time. You don't let up for a minute. Yeah? Having a really, you know, it's like everybody says, oh, you know, oh, she's made it to the, you know, the starring show and, and she's got a, a terrific husband, but you don't, you don't do all that without a tremendous amount of work. I mean, we work on our relationship all the time. It isn't some magic. I mean, you know, he didn't ride up on a white horse and all of a sudden everything was was wonderful it's, it takes a lot of conscious effort to do that and it comes in waves too doesn't it it isn't always terrific yeah but we don't look at as at the times when we're when we're working on it where, where it would look like it would be difficult to other people as a bad time we look at it as an opportunity to just keep growing with each other and, okay. and make it get better and better and i think if you contextualize anything like that you always have the opportunity to love when change comes your way rather than holding so tight and fast to our own little parcel of life. What's the difference in working One Life to Live and working Who's the Boss? The difference oh. in the schedule? Yeah, it's, uh, it's enormous. Uh, this week, actually not, because this week we've had about four, three or four different rewrites, and, and so that's been more time consuming and has been as difficult, I would say, as One Life. It's difficult in its own way because you're, you've got a new element and you've got an audience, so it's like back, being back in the theater for me, so that's real exciting. But One Life was simply, unadulteratedly grueling. I mean, that was because of the kind of character I played, and I was there at 7 o'clock in the morning doing the, the rehearsals, and then at 6 o'clock that night you were taping the show, and I was crying all the time, and that was 60 <laughs> pages every day, and, you know, that, that was really hard. The difference great in... Training. The, great training. Yeah, but, you know, Tony Danza was in the studio, and he was telling us about the first few weeks on the set, and he said, you were worried about going from the heavy drama to comedy. You bet. You bet. Because, first of all, I, I wanted people to follow me, and I wanted them to feel as comfortable with seeing me do comedy as they were comfortable seeing me do high drama. And it's very funny because when I came to Hollywood, people said, well, does she do comedy? Is she, she funny? I mean, what's all this soap stuff? And now that I'm being funny, they say, does she do drama, drama at all? In either One Life or Who's the Boss, is there enough for you? No, but I think that takes a lifetime and a, and a, of, a, of a career. I think as you watch people grow and watch them do. I, I intend to have a, a, a lifelong career, and I think the good foundation and longevity is what I'm really about, because I'm very much a long-term person. So I think that through the years, as people see me go from, as they are as shocked now that I do comedy, because I did Karen Wolek, they will be more surprised to see me do something else, and mm -hmm. I will go on and on doing other things, and then I, I think you'll see the, the span and, and the range and the variety of what I do. But I, I don't know that you can do it all in one show. I, try, I did some comedy a little bit in, in One Life, and I have done some drama here. I mean, Mona and I had a show where I found out that uh, she'd had an affair while she was married to my Catherine father. Catherine Hellman. Yes, Mona. that's right. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, there was a very poignant scene in that. And so we had an opportunity to do something that was a little bit more dramatic. That's but good. I think it takes a lifetime of watching somebody work. So it sounds like you have a commitment to the marriage for life and also a commitment to your career. Any children in the future? Do you ever think about that, Judith? I am... I'm not really working on that or thinking about that uh, so much right now. We're really working on the relationship and we're really working on our individual careers and we want to really be clear and sure that we feel fulfilled before we would think about having a child so that we can make sure that that child feels, feels fulfilled because I don't 
I think it's very important to be with your child. If I'm going to commit myself to that, I think having children is a career. Mm -hmm. I really do. And I think you spend time with your children, and the time you put in is what you get out, mm -hmm. just like I have with my career. So I don't know whether we ever will have children, uh, but I can tell you that w we do occasionally talk about it and we do think about it. From but Trenton, New Jersey to St. Mary's private school to Carnegie Mellon, was Carnegie Mellon a good base for you? Do you I mean, is education important in this business? I, I think education is important in life. What's important to me is the way I view my life. Everything else fits into that. That's the, that's the context, really, for the way I look at things. And yes, I think education is extremely important. When I was a little girl, my father took me to see, in McCarter Theater in Princeton, a French company, Comédie Française, I think it was, and he took me to see a production that they were doing. And I remember we were driving uh, to Princeton together, and he said to me, <clears throat> do you do you really want to do this? Because I, I was doing it when I was little. I was reciting poetry and all that stuff. And he said, do you really want to do this? And I said, yes, I do. But I really feel that it's very important for me to get my college education first so that uh, I will always have some basis for my life. I said something to that effect. And I remember talking to him about that. And I just think I always knew it from a very early age that it was important to me. Just finally, I'd love to know because I watched you as Karen for years and I am a fan and I don't often say that, but Thank I think you. your ability is enormous. I wonder if there's a well of sensitivity inside of you that maybe other actors don't have. And if so, where does it come from? Thank you for the compliment. I, um, I don't know. Um, that's not true. I think it comes from I think talent is God-given. I don't think you can make somebody really be an actor. I think talent is, is talent. And I think it is truly God-given or universally given. And I think that what we do as actors is we have a little, a little touch of, of that kind of spirit. And when you are bold and courageous and unafraid of your life, I think Everyone has that ability, and it opens, when you are open to it, you can be more in touch with it and bring more of it out. My purpose is to be creative, to show something to other people. It isn't to massage my ego, so that I want to make my talent available. So I will go through many things in my life in order to be conscious and to use that creativity. I think everybody has that kind of creativity. I think it's just whether you're willing to take the risks and be unafraid and look inside and see how you can open yourself up to, to be in touch with that. And I oh. try to do that. I want to thank you. Good words. And you know, you are wearing the success very well, Judith. You've never looked better. Thank really, you. Really. Thank Great you. to have a chance to see Glad you. Glad to see you. Thank too. you. Thanks. Come to Boston. Please. I'd love. We'd love